This video explains how to loop through the index of a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor, as you can see in the second code box. And in this code box, I'm creating a new data frame, which is called data. And then I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So in this case, you can see that we have created a new data set, which contains four rows and the two columns x1 and x2. Now let's assume that we want to loop over the index of this data frame. So over the range from zero to three. Then we can use the iterrows function, as you can see in the next code box. And in the first line of this code box, I'm specifying that I want to loop over the index i in the rows of our data frame using the iterrows function. And then in the next line, I'm specifying what should happen in each iteration. So in this case, I want to print a certain output. And this output should contain the index position i, as well as the character string column x1, the value of the column x1 in this row of the corresponding iteration, and the same for the column x2. So if you run the third code box, a new output is created. And this output contains one line for each iteration. So in this case, you can see that we have returned the output index 0, column x1, a, column x2, w. And this output is returned for each of the rows in our data frame based on the indices of our data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.